Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. We are still playing as France. We have just uh, invaded Italy. We are pushing them out of uh, North Africa in Libya. And we have taken Milan. We have started the siege, siege of Genoa. And we're moving on to uh, Venezia here, um, right? Quick, as soon as we possibly can. We want to get to these mountains before the Germans can. It uh, looks like we've already lost that little race here. But hey, whatever. Um, we ran into a little bit of a snag here in the province of Pinerolo where our troops were moving at, uh, I believe it said like 0 .03 kilometers per hour, and I just did the math on that. That's about 15 feet per hour, or about 5, 6 meters per hour. Now I get it, this is like, you know, the mountains. It's huge mountains here, and it was snowy and muddy and below freezing and slightly windy and all that stuff. It was basically the worst travel weather you can possibly think of in the most difficult terrain you can possibly think of, but 15 feet in an hour? Really? 15 feet in an hour? And we had like 100,000 troops stuck in that province. That is absolutely ridiculous. Who understands this game, right? You'd think there'd be a mountain pass or something through there. Otherwise, how could they build level 4 roads? Yeah, whatever works. Whatever works. Doesn't really matter. Um, it is the middle of June 1943, and this was a semi-quiet month um, on the, uh, on the, uh, in the terms of, uh, of engagements in World War II. There were no real significant engagements. I mean, the, the, the whole Eastern Front was a significant engagement. You know, I'm not trying to belittle anybody in any way, shape, or form, but uh, there was one engagement here in the Mediterranean in which uh, American and British troops took uh, an Italian island that doesn't even exist on this map. I think it was called like Pinarello, Pinarello or something like that. They forced the surrender of about 11,000 Italian troops with a few German troops mixed in there. Um, and there was some uh, territory switching hands um, on the eastern front um, around the province of Kursk, I want to say. Or was it Kiev? I can't remember. Somewhere in this general area there was some, uh, some territory changing hands. Um, over on, on the Pacific Front, um, the United States uh, in mid-June began their uh, reconquest of the Solomon Islands, which Japan had not uh, even taken from Australia uh, in our game. Um, in, uh, in this game, the United States has held on to Saipan and has retaken Wake Island um, in, a, in a little conquest there. Um, they haven't really done anything major. Um, other than that, they retook... Sorry, they, they invaded and took uh, the minor port province of, uh, of Mili from Japan. But other than that, it's really nothing spectacular. Um, they are still holding on to the capital of the Philippines over here in Manila, but it looks like they're rapidly losing the rest, and they're about to lose the southern island here. If they can hold them at Manila, um, behind this mountain, using the forts and the, uh, the city, the urban modifier, they can probably hold out here for fairly long, but the, the Japanese will probably be able to flank them get into these mountains and basically make it uh, really easy to dislodge them from the Philippines unless the United States can get troops over there really quickly. Um, and that might be why they took Saipan and Wake Island so quickly so that they can bring reinforcements over here. But, uh, I mean, who trusts the AI to be that intelligent? Uh, we have kept hold of uh, French Indochina, which I am constantly, constantly surprised about like why in the world hasn't Japan just come over here and taken this from us? This is providing us with a decent amount of manpower and leadership, and a decent amount of resources as well. Like uh, you really can't bet an eye at this. This is uh, three raw uh, rare materials per turn, and we only have a surplus of about ten. Um, I mean, we are trading about fifteen away, but that's that's a decent amount. Um, we're doing just fine on energy, but we're trading for energy um so taking away this uh this four um this uh this three as well as uh this two and this one would be really nice um oh, and this one as well this is another unit of energy um that would cut down on our ability to uh to run factories this is a significant amount of rare materials as well we've got eight coming from this province here um we've got 10 coming from this province another four here another four here yeah, I think basically all of our rare materials are coming from our uh, colony over here in French Indochina, as well as this uh, special uh, resource, this black soil over here, which I really haven't discussed in any real detail. It uh, basically gives us an additional 10% manpower modifier, which is spectacular, um, and we've had it for the entire game. Um, so that bonus from uh, service by requirement and from our improved technology is further added by the plus 10% from the black soil, but France does get a uh, manpower malice 
the uh, negative 30% population crisis to simulate the fact that basically every other country rebounded from World War I uh, in terms of population much quicker than France ever did. Um, France lost a significant percentage of their population in World War I, just like the Italians and the Germans. Um, but France did not reach pre-World War I population levels until well after World War II was over. Uh, Germany did fine. Italy did fine. Like In terms of population, they, uh, they regained their population much faster than France did. So the game models that by giving us a negative 30% manpower penalty, which partially explains why we've been having so many manpower difficulties. Um, but since we've managed, and I mean, we haven't really worked at all, to to really do this in any significant way, but we've managed to keep this uh, this province of Mytho over here. We have this black soil, which uh, sort of only brings that down to a negative 20% penalty. But hey, uh, let's not spend another uh, 20 minutes talking about the game. Let's uh, let's actually you know jump into playing it here. So we are attacking in this direction, attacking in this direction. Um, we are preventing this Slovakian division from being useful um, in attacking our unfueled armored mechanized brigade here we've begun the attack on Genoa. let's just uh let's just unpause we'll see what happens here now we are still pushing up down here on the italian front and oh right we redeployed our fleets over here um okay so they have a significant amount of units over here uh, i think it would be best for us to park our main battle fleet right here and then set this fleet on a patrol over in this general direction, just so that we can cover our bases out here. They do have convoy raiders. Um, whoa, ten of our convoys was sunk in that province. That's fairly significant. Um, we can also let's see, are they? Yeah, we have a we have a an enemy aircraft right here. They are fighting us in the air, so we'll put our multi rolls on a air intercept over northern Italy here, and we do have two tactical bombers. Which we will just use as a uh, oops, as a ground attack over this northern Italian front. So they'll support our uh, our advancing soldiers. And yeah, we're just gonna let the let the advancing soldiers advance, I suppose. Um, as soon as we get more. Oh, we lost Djibouti down here. Yeah, we, we expected that. I'm not too worried about that. It doesn't give us any bonus at all. No manpower, no leadership, no resources. It was just a port down here, basically on the way to uh, to our Indo-Chinese country. Uh, colony, excuse me. But uh, it's really not that necessary anymore. Hey, we pushed them out of here. And by we, I probably mean the Soviets actually pushed them out of here. But we'll make an effort to get into this province first, um, just to deny the Soviets that province. And it looks like we pushed them out of this province as well. Cebu? No, not quite. But soon? Now we have. Okay. So let's move that entire stack up. We'll move these units up as well. And we'll move these units up as well. And, and this was a attack just to get this unit into this province on time, if I remember correctly. Um, it looks like if we keep it up, we'll actually push them out. I think we're going to keep it up. We're going to fully commit to this attack. Um, so, in so doing, we need more infantry on the front line. And there goes Finland. They allied themselves with Germany and are now out of the game. Hey, naval combat. I like naval combat. What's this? Oh, we're supporting... <laughs> okay, um, it looks like what happened here is an Italian um, uh, anti-submarine squadron found our submarines, and then a British squadron found the anti-submarine squadron. So our submarines are helping the uh, the British fleet destroy um, an anti-submarine warfare squadron. Oh, they had a squadron of transports in there too. So yeah, um, three free Italian ship deaths, I guess. Um, okay. It looks like we are losing the air war yet again. We haven't really invested too much in our air. Our air power. So I'm okay with losing the air war. Like, I'd, I'd, obviously I'd prefer it if we didn't lose the air war, but 
I can understand why we're losing the air war. Um, we're going to redeploy our tanks down in this direction because it's foolish to have tanks doing uh, doing any actual attacks in the mountains. That's just foolish. And I think we're going to redirect you units to move um, north of this lake. And I wish it told you what lake it was, but we're going to defend around Lhasa and Ala over here. Ayla? Ala? I don't know. Now let's see if we can get a little nice little surround. Oh, okay. As I was saying, let's see if we can get a nice little surround um, around this militia unit, see if we can remove it from the game. That'd be nice. More air combat. Our airplanes are getting beat up, so we're going to bring them home. Stop that. Stop that. Yet again, I don't think we're keeping up with the German Air Force in terms of upgrades or fighting combat ability or anything of the sort. Which is unfortunate, but really, it's to be expected. And yeah, it's interesting that the Bulgarians really aren't helping us at all. They've just completely redeployed their entire army to the Greek border. Uh, I guess they don't really uh, see the Germans as a threat anymore, now that we're taking care of them. We did get to this province before the Germans and Hungarians did, um, and it looks like that one unit of British Marines is valiantly holding the mountains um, until reinforcements arrive. Um, and it also looks like the Germans have reinforced this. Yeah, okay. So let's do a... As soon as you can, which isn't that far away, let's do a support attack with you, and we'll move you and you into this province as well. Should be fine. And while we're pushing up there, let's uh, not use our weakened units, but we'll use our good ones. This is hills, so we can afford to use our tanks in attacking here. Uh, these are some pretty tough fights. Uh, we're going to win that one just fine, but Genoa is going to be expensive. Um, we do have a surround on it now, though. Well, a minor surround, so we might as well attack it from both sides. This is just a militia unit, and since we have troops, uh, sorry, ships stationed out here, we're getting a nice uh, bonus from our shore bombardment. Okay, I don't think we're going to get to the mountains on time. I do want to slice the country in half, though. Um, but we don't have any fuel anymore. No fuel. I think we're going to be relying on our infantry yet again. Are you guys stuck in Torino now? We're moving at three miles per hour. Okay, they're not stuck. I'm just moving slower than I think I'm moving, I think. That's probably it. I'm just slower than I think I am. That's fine. Um, we're doing a neat little thing over here. Um, whoa, they landed a bunch of troops there. Okay, stop here. Force your way in there. Force your way in there. You are actually going to move around this way, see if you can get us around on them. Um, we are running out of supplies here. Uh, we probably outran our supplies, honestly, more than, more than we ran out of them. Um... Our fuel is running remarkably low, but it looks like we somehow got a significant amount more of uh, crude oil. So we're going to throw a lot of our industrial capacity at supply production and reinforcement, which is going to stymie our armored unit production, which is unfortunate. But once again, the army we have much more important than the army we want to have. And they've retreated from Genoa. Wonderful. So we can stop you. I mean, we're not going to catch them, unfortunately. Um, and I really want to slice this country in half. So let's move down. Oh, you're out of fuel as well. Just sit there for a bit. I think we're going to need to rely on infantry a whole bunch. Because we just... like Our supply network doesn't seem to be able to catch up in terms of fuel to what we actually need. What we actually require. Um, I'm going to... We've sort of spread out in an awkward way, haven't we? Okay, these tough fights are going our way. We're about to push the Germans out of this province, I think. They just retreated from here. We're moving into here. Moving into here. We might as well move into here as well. Just attack with everybody across the front. There is a 10% stacking penalty. I guess let's uh, let's take that third armored division out. 
because you're pretty weak. We'll let you regain your organization a little bit. Still a 34% fight. We've got a very skilled general. Our general isn't that spectacular. Um, maybe we can expect uh, Russian help? I don't know. But we'll get the flank on them here fairly soon. We've already pushed them out of this province, so we'll be able to help in a, in a supporting attack without too many problems. We're almost, almost all the way through the old country of Romania. Like, we just... We attempted to hold the line along these mountains, but we've finally pushed beyond the mountains. I believe these are the Carpathian Mountains. I could be wrong about that. I know these are the Alps, but hey, whatever. Geography is not my 100% strong suit. Naval combat in the Ligurian Sea. Looks like transports. Looks like dead transports, yeah. We are being attacked? This one is worrying. You're defending against uh, German Panzer Division commanded by von Manstein, which is dangerous. Um, move up in this direction. That's more important right now. We took Genoa. Let's push south. Wow. They're doing a lot of damage to us. 300% attack modifier? Wow. 65% experience. Look at that experience modifier. This division, the 3rd Panzer Division, has probably been in constant combat since the very beginning of the game. Like, we only have a 17.9% experience modifier on this unit. I mean, they've been sitting in France for the entire bloody game. My goodness. 60... 65% experience modifier, plus the combined arms and the leader skill modifier. Incredibly skilled leader. He's already at skill 5, almost a skill 6. Even though he's a light armored, with probably just motorized as his support, we're a medium armored with motorized and a tank destroyer as our support, we're probably going to get trounced here. Like, let's just be honest about it, we're going to get trounced here. And we're attacking, dug in infantry in the mountains, probably a poor decision. Okay, we need to stop, we need to pull back from here. We need to move into this province. Um, we need to try moving here. As many people as possible. I think we just need to get we need to get some sort of a cutoff. We need to cut off some sort of their country so they can't just pour in reinforcements to the south and we can take them apart piecemeal. Let's move up our um, our army HQs while we can. You're doing fine. It looks like you're getting bombed a little bit. But you're doing fine as well. We'll, we'll keep you there for now. Uh, we got the surround on them down here, so let's uh, press our advantage to a little supporting attack. Unfortunately, you have no supplies and no fuel. Why is that? I mean, only three... Only three infrastructure. Honestly, down here is one region where cavalry might actually be useful. As silly as it sounds. Because they just, they take so few supplies. Alright, we are being counterattacked rather heavily here, but it's just our advanced divisions being attacked by, let me guess, much more skilled, yeah, 40% experience, quite, quite the combined arms advantage. Really, they're just there to delay the Germans until the rest of our troops can get into position. So yeah, move in. Move into position push forward. Well, not yet. Okay. Basically just brute forcing it, I suppose. When will you get there? Oh, you already got there. Wonderful. When will you get there? 20th of June. Okay. Now they just need to get to the front lines. There we go. Wonderful. Now it's still going to be a little bit painful, I think, because these units are just so good. Yeah, we just got pushed out of Sinsu. Or... Kinku? I don't know how to say it, but our infantry are still advancing. They'll be there on the 20th. Killed more Italian ships. Wonderful, wonderful news. Speaking of, it looks like the Germans did manage to get a heavy armored division into this province. Are we attacking them in Verona over here? Yes, we are. Okay. 
We're 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 taking them down. We have them outnumbered with three armor divisions and an infantry division. Um, these are relatively inexperienced troops, unfortunately, and they're you know squaring off against very experienced German troops. Um, I mean, it's much the, the same problem that the Soviet Union's probably having, and that the uh, the Americans are probably having against the Japanese, who were, did fight a rather large war over here. Um, oh, and the Japanese are also at war with the Soviet Union, apparently. I guess I neglected to say that. It's relatively important. They've already pushed the Soviet Union out of uh, Vladivostok and are pushing into... Um, well, it looks like they're pushing into Mongolia over here, and they're going to start pushing uh, through Kamchatka very soon. Interesting. I can't tell if the Soviets have finally been stopped by the Germans, or if just the advance has slowed a little bit. I mean, basically, we've got one front, two fronts, three fronts, four fronts. And, I mean, you might you might combine this front with this front if you just want to stop at four, but this is basically a fifth front. Um, this front's been completely taken care of. The Germans need to divide, the, divide their attention and their army in so many directions, in so many places. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, so we have been pushed out of this province. And are we trying to take it back? I don't think we're trying to take it back just yet. And we are running short on supplies. Being attacked in Modena over here by units from that province, which I suppose is fine. Keep moving down. Move over here. And move over here, I guess. No, you're gonna you're gonna be the southward facing. It's stormy. Really bad weather. Okay, yeah, there's no way you're gonna push the German troops out of the mountains. We did make it into the mountains in this province, which is a good thing. Very good sign. Our, uh, our initial invasion plans were way too... Uh, like, honestly, I didn't expect them to pull troops off the Maginot line to counter this, but, I mean, that's the obvious thing to do, isn't it? So, um, they got here much quicker than I expected. The most we can hope for now is maybe taking Venezia, um, definitely going to cut off the country, like cut the country in two. If we need to use this as the northern defensive line, we will down here. But I doubt that they'll be able to get that far down in enough strength to really push us out here. We're going to try to push them back into the mountains where their tanks won't be that spectacular. Um, that said, our tanks won't be that spectacular either. So we'll see how well that actually goes. That was an expensive fight over here in Ordile. Let's move everybody up get there before the Soviets can. And we have. We've pushed them. Oh, we won in Cebu here. They forced our uh, British 2nd Armor Division to retreat, but we have we have more troops that we can throw up to the front line there. Actually, you stay back because you have low organization. You're retreating already. That's fine. Uh, we're going to send... This is what? This is hills. That's fine. Going to send the second armored and the 46th North Midlands division up. And they will break that attack off just fine. They broke off the attack on Sinsu since we actually got our infantry up to the front lines there, which is good for us. Uh, we are moving to get out of the mountains here in this province, and if we get pushed back at this point. Like, if we just cannot break the uh, the shell that the Hungarians and the Germans are... Like the, it's a rather good defense, honestly. Ooh, that's a big fight. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted by everything. Like everything is going on. So many different front lines. We need to pay attention to this and pay attention to that. Um, okay, but this is a really big naval fight. Now we have 18 ships. We have 10 ships. We've already done good damage to... Uh, the Italian battleship here. They have a poor screen penalty already. Um, basically, they have one, two, two destroyers, and this looks like a heavy cruiser. So, yeah, they have um, three battleships and a heavy cruiser. 
Um, so three capital, sorry, four capital ships, and only two um, destroyers to actually give them screening bonuses. The rest of these are just uh, um, transports. So we've got, oh, and we have British help as well, which is nice. We've got apparently transports on our side that are fighting. It's not a transport flight. It's a it's a destroyer. Interesting. Interesting naming naming convention difference. Oh, we have three battleships. Um, they're already doing good damage against the Italians. I don't think we have anything to worry about here. We have higher defense and attack modifiers. More experience, more leader skill. Um, the weather isn't on our side, unfortunately, but it's only a 20% penalty. Um, it's outside of our gun's effective distance, but we're very well positioned. It's 95.3% uh, positioning. They only have a 70% positioning, so this should go very well for us. And there we go. We already sunk the pride of the Italian Navy, the, uh, the Chao Duyo. So we lose two descent, not that we had any descent. And now they only have two battleships in this Navy. One of them is already trying to retreat, trying to break off. Uh, this one is beyond firing range. That's what it means when they get grayed out like that. They're beyond firing range. This one's still in firing range, which is interesting. Um, it's 28 kilometers, which is quite far, far away. Um, but we are still within one kilometer of our target. Uh, so we can still fire. And we did. Uh, but they got far enough away, so they are out of the battle. Uh, they lost a battleship. Uh, two destroyer squadrons and two transport squadrons. So all in all, good fight for us. We didn't take too much damage. One of our light cruisers, that was a light cruiser. It wasn't a, a destroyer, the, the the Joan of Arc. It got down to about 60% whole strength, but uh, but that's fine. Uh, we took uh, La Spezia and Genoa. And we're going to continue our advance here. Um, I don't actually want you to be attacking into that province. I do want this province to be taken, though. So yeah, along this, this little line here, um, I'm going to redeploy you guys. We want one here, one here, and the rest of you to come down this direction. Um, yeah, you guys, we're going to repurpose you as well. Just move into a province that makes you useful. Um, yeah, move down to the south here. You're just going to stop right there. Might as well move on to Pisa and uh, Pistoia. I actually move all the way to Ferenz, and we'll have you move into San Marino. And you can move to Forli and move over to Rimini, which is in the hills. And that'll be a nice cutoff right here with those four provinces. And then we can move units down as we need them. Who uh, pushed them out of Vizcaya? Sorry, Vizkenza. And I would love it if we could push into Padova here and cut this heavy infantry, uh, uh, heavy tank off. But they are doing a counterattack here, and I'm not sure that we'll be able to push them back in time to allow our units to move. Won the Battle of Verona. Yeah, okay, they're retreating. We might be able to get there in time to cut them off. Heavy tanks don't move very quickly. Um, you are going to move over here to Padova, though. Do it just fine, do it just fine. Um, all of you are moving to Ferrara, which is sort of silly. Um, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Sounds good. Okay, our invasion of Italy is going fairly well. It's not going as planned, unfortunately, but it's going fairly well. Um, you are a little bit weak compared to the rest of my stacks over here. Moving up. Things are quieting down. Okay, yeah, the, the Soviet advance definitely has not slowed down. They just took Lutz, and uh, we saw that that was surrounded a little bit earlier. So that was uh, probably some German surrendering happening. Um, they are putting up a fight down here with these mountains. Um, that's quite the advantage for the Hungarians, anyway. The Germans. Uh, but they are definitely losing. They're needing to fight on four, if not five, fronts. Uh, we did this round down here. We're finally able to attack with this unit because they got some supplies. Um, the more... I mean, let's push these units back if we can. 
didn't we have another... Yes, we did. We had another motorized core. Move you up into here. Can't move there. So yeah, this is the uh, choke point here. It's also all desert. Did I ever research the uh, desert warfare? I did. I just didn't research jungle. Yeah. Or marine infantry or airborne infantry. <laughs> we have more than enough marines from the British. Um, I'd love to start just running right by and taking as many Hungarian provinces as we can. Let's double check our um, war goals. We need to add a install democracy war goal in there. Uh, Italy, 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 Italy. What's your flag look like, Italy? There you are. Uh, can add a new one on the 1st of July. All right, we're still in the middle of June. Going slow, going slow. You need to sit out for quite a while. You got beat up pretty bad. Doing a little counterattack up here. It's fine. We'll let them use their organization on that, and then we'll do a, uh, an attack from, from up here. It's fine by me. One Viscenza. Hmm. Okay. That was just our advanced division. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Can't really complain when our advanced divisions get intercepted. That's sort of what they're there for. So yeah, keep moving keep moving south. Keep pushing south. You are going to keep pushing south as well. Um, this is going to be an interesting little combat up here. Padova. How are we doing? Not too, too hot. We'll move two of you down here and you up here. I actually don't want you to push into Treviso, I don't think. We want to slow down a little bit. Sort of corral the Germans in the mountains. Uh, there are far too many units here. Let's grab a tank. Move them out. More morale for our uh, support divisions, which is always nice. We're still really lacking because I completely neglected uh, Schwerpunkt up here. Um, and we do want this as well. A breakthrough chance and masterful breakthrough chance really isn't that spectacular. Really the only reason we're doing that is for the Spearhead Doctrine. Which gives our uh, our tanks less combat width, which means we can fit more of them on the front line. Which just brings brings about a nice corresponding firepower boost. Now we have you moving up there, yeah. And we finished that attack, so this is planes. Let's attack with the tank. Oops. With the tank. And one, two, three. The rest of you can sit tight. We'll move you up there as well to help cover them. And we'll do a supporting attack from here and move the rest of them up. Yep. No doubt that attack will work. Um, we are losing this fight, but we have more units on the way. We're losing this fight as well. I didn't realize that they threw more units in there. It's going to be an interesting fight. They have such good, such skilled units. Definitely at a disadvantage when it comes to the, uh, the leader skill, but while they're busy there, um, let's take our infantry and do a little attack up here. Just to give them some... Some supporting attacks. What is this province? Allah? May be able to force their organization down with enough uh, spent manpower. Okay, we've pushed them out of Pad Padova. It's wonderful news. Move up. Move down. Yep, infantry doing fairly well. Um, let's move you to Empoli. Move you down there. Sounds good, sounds good. We should destroy more. Italian ships. They've got uh, at least one battle cruiser state, uh, a battleship station there. And once we take uh, take that port from them, they'll be forced out. We just took uh, Firenze, which is fantastic. Italy is already at 48% surrender progress, and their entire army, or at least the majority of their army, is over here. Not even worried about it. They will surrender. We control the north.
Uh, let's see, how many how many victory points have we taken from them? We've got 7, 14, uh, 19. That's what was mine, so we've got 19 here. Um, plus another 15 from Rome. Okay, so if 19 was just about 50%, another 15 will uh, bring it to just over 80, I believe. Um, so that would mean taking just Napoli would force a surrender. Um, or Venezia would force a surrender. So if we can take uh, Venice and Rome, that might be enough to force a surrender. And if it isn't, it isn't that big of a deal to just force our way down to, uh, to Napoli. So I think that's the plan. Um, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you much for joining me again on another episode of Hearts of Iron 3 as France. Uh, it's the end of June. So, uh, yeah, things are slowing, slowing way down now that we're having serious supply issues over here in Romania, Hungary. Um, and we are invading the uh, soft underbelly of Europe by completely avoiding the soft underbelly. So thank you once again, and I'll see you all next time.